now we will discuss the dynamic programming with the use of a simple example known as manhattan tourism problem so this is a manhattan is a place in new york with a tourist attractions so we will use this problem and the tourist in this problem have to see the maximum number of attractions by using a certain directions and after using this manhattan tourism problem we will use this for computing the dna sequencing alignment problem and we will use this computation as a dynamic problem for the dna alignment so here we can see that there are the sightseeing in the manhattan area and we can see that there are different numbers here and these designating the different areas present in the manhattan that is the tourist resort area so we can see here number 5 is seasons four seasons and here is the five four seasons similarly it's the time square number 12 so we can see it's number 12 and time square so different areas 15 areas and 15 numbers here so a tourist has to start from if we assume that this is the north this is the south this is east and this is a west so tourist has to start from the corner of 59th street and 8th avenue and it has to go to the end of this one 15 and this is the 42nd street and lexington avenue so starting from here it has to move in different directions and end up here so there are many attractions along the way but assume for the moment that the tourists want to see as many attractions as possible the tourists are allowed to move either in the south so this is south they can move either in this direction or in the east in this direction so these are the two directions the tourists can move starting from this point so it cannot move in the north or in the west direction we can see here there are two paths mentioning here the first path is the upper path starting from here and it goes down up to here so this is the first path tourist is using so if we use the this path we can see here the tourist will visit the museum of modern arts at number 4 but if we use this path the tourist will miss the times square that is at number 12 because it will move in this direction so there is another path here this one so if the tourist use this path so it can see the times square but it will miss the museum of modern arts so we can see here that this map can also be represented in the grid form we can see here this is the grid graph representing the same tourist problem and we can see here the number that is written on the lines for example this 2 3 any number it is called as a weight showing the number of attractions in every block it means that if it is 3 1 3 it means that there are a uh, seven attractions in this area and if we assume this block there are 4 5 3 2 so it means that if we calculate this it means that this is the total number of attractions means the different buildings and sightseeing in this block so it represented as weight so the tourist must decide among the most possible paths between the north east most point so we can again mark it north south east and west so tourist has to start from the extreme north west point so this is the north west point and it has to end up and this point is called the source vertex
so this is the point from where the tourists will start it's a sore vertex and the southeast this is the point which is the most southeast point and it is called the sink vertex so it has to start from here to here so weight of the path from the source to the sink is simply the sum of weights on its edges or the overall number of attractions so the path it will consider for example it moves here so we will consider three and it moves further we will add two in it and it moves here we add two three two six and seven so we have to calculate the numbers of attraction on this path and when it end up at this point we will calculate all the numbers on the edges so we assume that the horizontal edge of the graph are oriented in the east and this is in the south direction and the streets it means that we call these arrows as street and these are called vertices and the edges means this one is called the edge so a path is a continuation of the in this direction is called a path and maximum path is the path which has the maximum number of score so we can see here in, again in the manhattan problem that the upper half of this map this upper half has more attraction as compared to the lower half but it is not clear if there is any even better path in the grid the manhattan tourist problem is to find the path with the maximum number of attractions that is the longest path in the grid here we can see this is the path adopted by the tourist starting from the source point and it moves in the east direction and it moves here this is the 3 we added 3 and further move we add 2 becomes 5 5 plus 4 becomes 9 9 plus 4 13 2 15 4 19 20 23 and 3 23 so if the tourist adopt this path so the total number that this uh, path has 23 so it could be the maximum number one attraction one tourist can see while using this path so by using the dynamic problem we can find the best solutions of this problem